All right, I'm recording this video for uh, for you, John. I wanted to demonstrate um, where things are with regards to the uh, RR3 that uh, receiver on the AGC that I was talking to you about. So in doing this, I thought the best thing for me to do would be to create a video so that you could actually see it perf in performance. I have a light on behind me to kind of brighten things up because it's an overcast day here so that you could see some detail in the video. Um, and what I wanted to show you, I have an R7A on top and an RR3 in the bottom and I thought maybe I could compare them. So we'll see how far we get here. First of all, I wanted to show you, I have set these both in the same frequency, both in 1265. That's actually between frequencies down in the medium wave band. Uh, but it will, uh, um, when I'm off frequency, it's a little easier to hear and to see the problem than when I'm on frequency. It's still there on frequency, but lots of times the signal somewhat masks it, uh, especially strong signals. Weak signals uh, don't get masked by the problem. So anyway, here we go. So let me turn this one up. So we're off frequency. Okay, right now the AGC is set to slow with both buttons out. Now if I push it in, push in medium, you start to see a little bit, uh, let's see if I can see this. I'm going to, here's slow, there's medium, and you start to see some, some uh, peaking of the signals and there's a little static. Now that's medium, there's slow. Now when I go to fast, watch what happens. It's all over the place. You can see, and uh, now we're in AM, but watch what happens when I turn it on sideband. Same thing. And you can see that I basically cannot use fast AGC because it's all over the place. Now watch, I'm going to turn it off here. And you can see the problem, problem goes away. Fast AGC again. Needles jumping, and now that's in sideband. Turn it to AM. Problem is still there. Sideband. And we're in fast. I'm going to go back to slow. And you can see the problems away. Back to fast. Jump it all over the place. And when you're on frequency, when you're on weak signals, you just hear a, a chatter. You basically can't use uh, fast AGC at all. Medium, I did notice there was some peak, there's some spikes in medium where we are right here. There's some. And when I put it in slow, most of that disappears. So there's a little bit in slow, a couple of pops. A little bit more in medium. Fast AGC. It's all over the place. Now, let me see if I can do this so that we can see it on the R7A. So I have to unhook the antenna back here. <coughs> I'm just going to set this down a minute, John, so I hope you'll excuse me. This is more of a two-handed job. <coughs> Plug it in the antenna back here. <clears throat> All right, now here we are. I'm going to turn this one down, turn this one up. It's the fast. And AGC off. Well, it looks like it's still much the same thing. Let me see fast here. That's doing the same thing. Now, it wasn't doing that yesterday. Oh, that's odd. Well, I don't know what to say.